welcome to another video and a community that believes weird is wonderful and magic is real and I'm bringing on the weird. I should have brought it on more. I almost asked you to get me a fun dip. And if you're not from the US of A, a fun dip is like one of those like sugary sticks that you stick in sugar. I feel like I needed to down something like that before <laughs> opening this box because today we are gonna be opening the quarterly, which is, as you pointed out, is the only option for magic delivered, the quarterly, Magic Delivered Box, which I, we'll make a note right now. She's a little different. She's just minor difference. It's an actual box, so it doesn't open this way. It opens this way, right here. I'm guessing that it's just like a custom box, so that maybe saving a little bit of coin, more coin going into the stuff inside is my hope. And uh, the reason that I mentioned sugar, uh, clearly I don't need it, is because the theme, well, actually, let me back it up. The theme for the entire year, are they calling it a theme? The thing they're running, running with <laughs> for the entire year is jobs. Now it's quarterly, so it's only four boxes, but every box of 2024 is going to be job related. And this particular box, hold on, let me check my note because I want to get it accurate. Foxes let me know. Look at my foxy note paper. Can you see it? It is the Sweet Shop Confectioner. So it's like specifically a J-O-B in the magical world and we are getting all things sweet. So my guess is obviously I would assume very colorful things. That's what I always assume because I, I mean, I think mostly of honeydukes. Delicious. And I think of the trolley on the train. Anything off the trolley, dears? Which is why I am wearing my Pygmy Puff shirt. I don't have anything Honeydukes. That's another thing I'll say. I don't really collect a lot of very colorful things. Maybe we'll do a video on that because I'd love to know what you collect, what you don't collect. Um, but Magic Delivered, I don't know. They always make very useful items. So we'll see. We have some Kitchen Witch videos planned. So maybe there could be something in here. Um, we have not recorded that, but I need a pair of scissors to unbox uh, this sucker right here. So let's do that. I feel like this is a better option because I can like easily just reach my hand in, right? Okay, so the che cheaty sheet is on the top, I think, and you wanted that. Is that the cheaty sheet? Oh, that's cute. I see coffee. <laughs> just when I was having a discussion with myself. Oh, it's hot chocolate. I mean, that's fun, but it's not as fun as coffee, okay? Even though I'm considering weaning myself off of it. Okay, we're not, we're not, this isn't a coffee box, but we've got, oh Lord, they went with the plushies again. <laughs> Should I go with that one? Um, I don't know if you remember that last one. No, I'm gonna start with what is very right on top and it is a paper product. It seems to be a recipe of some kind. Item number one, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if I need to preface that. We're just diving in. Oh, we get some vegan options. If you don't know, I am vegan. Now, most of the like recipe cards that we get, and we have got some from the Wizarding Trunk. They, they've made quite a few. Um, they're not vegan, but they can be made vegan. But they are providing an option for vegan or not vegan. <laughs> that is the question. Um, and it is, how, how does one pronounce that? Uh, Ambrosius Flume, ginger cookies. Oh, from the kitchen of. So here, I'll show you. We got the two different cards. Um, I guess I guess the vegan one is green because plants, I don't know. But it's got little lizards on it and they are ginger cookies. So I don't know. I am planning a magical vlog. Should we attempt to make some ginger cookies um, from Magic Delivered? So basically it's kind of like the wizarding trunk um, you can screenshot that sucker if you want the recipe, but those are the ingredients. And then here is the actual recipe on the back. Um, cute. I will say as far as design, I prefer the wizarding trunk one, but it is just a recipe card. I probably, unless I get a recipe box, it's not in the list. So it's not even an item. Okay. We haven't even gotten to the actual item. This is a bonus. Okay. Um, uh, but do let me know in the comments if you want me to make some of those. Okay. Do you remember the mandrake seed plush. We thought it was really, it, what, we did not keep it because it just didn't like fit into our aesthetic, but we thought it was really cute. I will link that video above. Really creative um, and just really fun. And they definitely did something similar. It's really cute. <laughs> it is basically, um, you know, they can't use the phrase just like Wizarding Trunk. They can't use the phrase like Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans, but it's basically Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. Um, I mean, it's still their own variation. Uh, actually, let's just take it out. Oh my God, it even has like, it even has ingredients on the back. I'm not surprised because when they did the Mandrake thing, um, there was even like directions for planting and stuff like that on the back. It's well thought out. It's super soft. Actually, 
I'm a, a wee bit on the spectrum or two. And I was thinking about getting some like some feelers, some things I can play with with my hands. I don't know. Should I bring it to, to the muggle job? Should I just show it to you guys? So it says highest quality beans in Britain, Jelly Jinx uh, Candy Co. Um, the original magical sweets and treats. Look at it. So it's kind of like a Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans um, container, but it is soft. It is a plush. And like I said, it is a backside. So hold on. Here's the front. And here's our little beans. And they all have different faces. This one's really upset. I wonder what flavor that would be. What flavor would you be upset by? He's got vampire teeth. He has vampire teeth. <laughs> Do you see those suckers? And then the back. Oh, it says it on there. He has bat blood. They, they got the Flavors on here, tutti frutti, cabbage, sherbet, lemon. I'm saying it correctly for so long I have said sherbet. Okay, that's what I grew up with. Uh, bogey and toasted marshmallow. So we have a nice uh, balance of disgusting and tasty. So here are all of the options we can get. And then there are ingredients. Like what? Consume at your own risk, not recommended for wizards under five or over 155. <laughs> it's it, it's your, you're not of ripe age once you get over 155. I love the details. Um, and then ingredients. Prepare to be disgusted. We've got a balance of, let's see, honeysuckle, fairy floss, love, spite, soot, lemon puree, essence of ick. <laughs> Why does this make me so happy? Um, peacock feather. You've now lost me. Bone powder. Gr gr grimly grass. Exploding ginger and bitter root. Okay, but the fun doesn't stop there, you guys. She's got a zippery situation. Again, very similar to the mandrake seeds. So we're gonna unzipper this. Oh, it's not gonna have the same aesthetic now that I, I'm gonna have to carefully put them back in, but I almost wish, I almost wish they had the scent. Can you imagine a bat blood scent? <laughs> so I took them out. We've got our sherbet lemon. Very happy this one is. Um, let's see, bogey. That seems like, it. they're matching the face with the, with the item. Toasted marshmallow. I don't know if you can see that face. I do wish I had a little bit of like this, but still the detail they're putting into these. Um, tutti fruity, got all the different colors. So the smile's just on the one side, as makes sense. And we've got our bat blood. And this is cabbage. <laughs> very appropriate faces, very fun. Honestly, I feel like if you are a person who needs to do things with your hands, or you are of the age below five, let's be real. <laughs> Uh, this would be really good for you. So I don't know. I'm considering it the muggle job. Imagine the looks I'll get there. But that is that is the proper item number one. Okay. Next item. It looks like we have a t-shirt, which I kind of would expect in every one of them because probably a staff tee. This is the one time where I really do expect a staff tee because we're doing jobs. I'm trying not to peek. Maybe the other box form was better. Okay, well, there's no guessing like what shop it is. So it is a sweet shop. It says sweet shop staff. She's very soft. She's like a blue color. Um, I'm not gonna look at the back. Oh, it's giving me vibes. You'll have to guess what, what, I'm, what I'm thinking. Did I still get medium? Yes, <laughs> still a medium, <laughs> still the same size. Um, so here's the front, like all of their staff tees. They have one kind of smaller image uh, normally is says staff or says something relating to being staff. And then the main event is on the back. And this is where I thought it was a cup of coffee because I see it's what's on the back of the cheat sheet. It's apparently hot chocolate, but how cute, very retro. This is giving me like Gilmore girl vibes. It's the style of the coffee cup, I think, or sorry, the hot chocolate. And it says hopping hot chocolate. Join our sweet tooth reward program and get your first mug free. Um, made from the world's finest and finest amphibious cocoa beans. It says magic delivered here, which normally I don't like branding, but I appreciate that it's very subtle on there because it does detract from the in-world feeling having branding like that. Um, but yeah, so the whole main event, I think, you know, even though I, this was branching out for me, okay, I'm, I'm kind of an all black girl, um, bit, bit of gray, bit of, bit of cream, um, but it is a neutral color. It is really cute. The design's cute. I think the retro look, uh, is that retro? I feel like it is, um, really works for it. So there is the a t-shirt. That is so cute. There's a cookie cutter shaped like a lizard. He's a lizard cookie cutter. Look at this cookie cutter. Item number three, we're diving in. We're, no, actually it's probably not a lizard. It's probably a salamander. 
which is a form of a lizard. I don't know my reptiles well, so come at me in the comments, my reptile people. Yeah, are we getting this on camera? We have got us a cookie cutter. So here's the side. Um, it doesn't even have to be just cookies, but that's what I would say. Is it not on the list? You don't see it? It's not one of the items? She's cute. We got a little lizard. Ooh, I'm getting ideas now. I feel like there was something in the Wizarding World mentioned with like salamanders, lizardy. It's a pretty good size too. I'd say this is like four or five inches long. I mean, you could even do a baked good. Oh, cookies are baked goods, Aubrey. Obvious. <laughs> we have a lizard cookie cutter, cute, which may or may not be on the list. We will come to the cheat sheet. Okay, what is next? The fabric -y business. This one is reminding me of um, when they did their apron. Pretty sure it was an apron and an oven, like an oven. It wasn't like a mitt, but it was one of the square ones. Uh, like it's a similar design. So I'm guessing it's the same artist doing this style. Let's take a look. I see a zipper situation. Pot holder, yeah, that's the word. I think it's called something else in Britain. Don't they call it something else? Is it not a pot holder? I don't know. I do want to, to learn the, the British terms. Um, that was not a British accent. So we have a zippery pouch, cute. And it is going with what I was expecting, which is very colorful for a candy situation. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh, look, here's our little lizards. Maybe we do, they almost look like gingerbread maybe, um, or like a butter cookie or something. It does say ginger, it says ginger cookies. Oh my God, we just pieced it together. We meaning um, he did. So you guys, I think we have to do this in a magical vlog. Um, so on the image, we got this right here. So it says ginger cookies and there's these tiny, I don't mean to like <laughs> give you the wrong finger there. Uh, there's these tiny little lizards or salamanders. Do you wanna say lizards or salamanders on there? I don't know if I showed that long. I'll give you another close up. But we have the vegan ginger cookies. And now we have the, they gave us the whole shebang. We have to do it now. Oh, that's very nice. Um, so the um, illustrator of this, now it is script, so correct me. We'll come to the thing. I think it says Karen Leopold. So the illustrator is Karen Leopold and her name is on the tag here. Why do I like that? Artist appreciation, you guys. I think um, it does say Magic Delivered. I mean, this is a collaboration. Um, so I think that's really cool. But what else we got on here? We got some like wand sticks. We have some butter beer. We have some chocolate, gotta have the chocolate. Oh, I think these are like cauldron cakes. These are giving me inspiration for like wanting to make some of these things. Um, these kind of give me the exploding bonbons vibes. Um, this is giving me like ice mice situation. Very, very cute. Maybe we, I don't keep a lot of colorful things, but I do have a Honey Dukes thing and it's in my kitchen and it's in a cabinet. So maybe we do hang on to this. What is the inside? Good question. So it is zippered. Let's see, is there a pattern? There is no pattern, but it has like, I think this might be a sandwich thing. So it has this kind of, I don't know um, if, I guess silicone would be the closest feel. Like something that you can wash and reuse. And apparently it's listed that way. Um, very cool. Oh, and we've got um, the pumpkin pasties. I almost said pasties. <laughs> oh my God, Aubrey. Okay, uh, what's next? Should I reach my hand in? This, I think I saw a little bit because I was thinking they might do a container of some kind and it looked like a container. Oh, actually it's in a box, so I don't know what it is. What are we? We are colorful. We are a box. I'm not gonna read the front. I'll, I'll show you first and then I'll read it. What is it, you guys? So there's the side. And it says candy, pick and mix. Indulge your sweet tooth. I was wondering if it was a candle, maybe. I was kind of hoping like in, in any trunk that if you're gonna do a sweet one, like maybe we'd get like a lollipop or something. I know there's a little danger going the food route. Um, so let's see. I don't think it's a candle. I would smell it, I think. What have we got here? It's got a bit of weight to it, so it's probably glass. It is glass. It's like a mini candy holder. Like we're used to, and actually I've been slowly collecting some of these jars because I want to do some fun things during like Christmas and Halloween time that feels sort of Honey Dukes-ish, but with a, you know, more dark spin and holiday spin. 
But yeah, it says handmade treats. It says the same thing that it says on the on the front, but it's more of a mini version um, than what we're used to seeing, which actually would look good next to a tall version. It does have the suction. Um, do you remember Lit Joy? <laughs> Flashbacks. <laughs> no suction. Uh, we want some good sealage. This is food here, people. And just, you know, it's, it's glass, if you can't tell. And she suctions pretty nicely on there. Very, very cute. Uh, theming really well with everything. All right, I see, I don't know, what is this? She is a pen. I'm guessing this is like, is sugar quill? Cool? Yeah, but they call it sugar feather. Sugar feather, they call it, because you probably can't use the TM, you know what I'm saying? We have got us a sugar quill, I'm assuming a pen. She has a pen. Let's take the tip off. This is one, oh, this looks like it might be a gel pen. Do I have something to write on? Come here, foxy bird. I'm gonna guess blue on this one. So I'm an all, I'm an all black girl, but I feel like this would be appropriate as blue. What are we? What is the verdict? She's black! Sorry. <laughs> um, I still approve, because I like black. Um, it's all right. Like, you know, it's a basic pen. It's very colorful. It does go with you know, you would probably need a pen in any sort of recipe situation. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing what I think is a journal, I think. We got a journal, but this isn't it. We have a cardboard box. I'm really enamored by this little lizard. Um, just got a little weight to it. Nothing to go off of on the outside, so let's see. I don't know why I'm imagining a picture frame. Nope, nope, it's a plate. Are we getting cats? No cats. There shouldn't be cats. <laughs> what have we got? Ooh, magical treats. Well, it's definitely the same artist um, as is on this here. We have a tiny little plate. It's it's a pretty nice size for a smaller plate. Kind of like it's listed as a dessert plate. A dessert plate. Yeah, you could put a piece of cake on there. That's cute. Might have to keep it. <laughs> I'm slowly building the Harry Potter dinnerware. I like a wide variety of things, but here it is. So it looks like it's almost like a kind of a wall, um, you know, it's stock from inside the magical shop here of candy. So all the same imagery that we just saw on that little sandwich uh, treat, whatever you want to call it, zippery bag. Um, so yeah, butter beer. What else? What else was on there? The cauldron cakes. We got our little. Maybe we make, can, can it fit? I think it can because they get smaller, right? When you bake, it's smaller. I think it could fit. We put our salamander, sorry for the people who don't like nails on a chalkboard, but there it is. The back, cause she's just white. No branding or anything on the back. And proper ceramic, very much like, cute. Okay, I see, I think it's a journal. I like their journals. They have been nailing it with the journals, but fully colorful. Wow. That is, that is like so playful. Um, oh my God, look at the pages. Okay, let me get this thing out. That is so fun. Um, and again, so with some other, um, I'm not calling anything out, but with some other kind of journals and stuff we have seen, we'll see a lot of like foiling on the words. At least with this, the foiling is it, on the outside of the words. So it's not too, too much, but it's, oh, it's it's just so colorful. Look at this. So it says, the confectioner's guide to enchanted treats and sweets, delightful recipes enchanted to make every kitchen magical. We've got us a cauldron down here, right? We got us a cauldron with some frogs. Um, What's over here? Are those kind of like one of those sugary? Oh God, I want one of those now. Do you remember those big balls of sugar? We would get them in like the gumdrop things. They're basically jawbreakers, but you don't have to like suck on it for a long time. Anyway, I could go for that right now. How cute. Uh, so on the bottom it says includes new and improved exploding candy charm. What I was gonna say is this is the same um, illustrator who made the last, I think we've had four, three or four. I think we've had four or maybe it was three. There was one that you could buy on the on the website as an add-on, we never did get that one. Um, but it's the same one, this is so, this stands out so much more. This probably won't sit with my other ones, it probably will be in the kitchen. Um, but that is the front, and this is like, this is a journal maker, I mentioned this before. So she knows what she's doing here. 
And here's a back. Look at this. So we've got some jars. We could have this set next to it. How fun. I like the almost like fireworksy looks. And like with the other ones, um, gosh, I forgot the name of it when they actually spray the edges. There's a word. Um, but just like the other ones, they have a color on the edge and they have a little bit of pop of something going on here. And for this one, we got the Every Flavor Beans popping out like it's hot on the edges. So it's just on the one edge, just like the other ones. And then let's check. The end pages are always really pretty too. What do we get? Oh my God, that is so playful. It works so well. I really like the black. It's a nice contrast to the pop of like, I like this too. I don't think I showed the spine. So here's the spine. I love the color choice. Um, it plays really well with the purple and then being similar to this. I love design, okay? Love design. And what else have we got? Is that meant to be upside down? Very interesting. <laughs> so one thing I noticed, this is the front of it. I don't know if this is just ours. Let us know if yours is this way too. Um, but obviously this is the way it's held. And these guys are, they're, they're not facing upright. And I thought they was just, I thought they were just trying to be more playful. <laughs> but I noticed here, the lollipop seems to be upside down. Um, but it was more, it was more this right here. Like this is the top of the page. So I think it was an error in printing, or sorry, placing it, the end pages and the inside pages. And, and the pages themselves are a repeat. I think I will reach out to Magic Delivered and just double check if that's the way that they had intended it to be. I'm gonna guess not, um, but otherwise, really, really love it. Really cute, really fun. And right with your sugar quill on that sucker. Okay, I'm seeing what looks like a sign or something. What is this? Wow, holy colors, that's the last item. We are on the last item, let me take it out. Yeah, that's tin. That is, is getting me in the eyeballs. So we have got a sign. So I'm wondering if they're gonna kind of do this with every one of them, because if you are a shop owner, you're, you're gonna have a sign. So we might get that with the other ones. Oh my God. Also guess, well, I wanna know what your thoughts are on, I should have saved this for the end. What are the other jobs you would like to see? So there's gonna be, I would assume at least three more because there's four a year, because they're quarterly. Um, I would love a good dark aesthetic. So what are some, we'll have to ponder that. But here is the sign for the confectioner's shop. Is it not giving you some groovy vibes or what? <laughs> With the color, uh, it says now serving magical macaroons. I think I always say that wrong. Is it macaroons or macaroons? Macarons, macarons. That, that's it. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> um, I swear I watched the Great British Bake Off. I should know some of this terminology. Um, baked fresh daily delivery by owl available upon request. Um, because those owls must rest, you know. So there's the front, it is a tin, and there's the back. There is a hole, both on the top and the bottom, so you can attach it somewhere. Will I be hanging it up? Probably not. I do, I do want me a mac, a macaron, a macaron. Now, <laughs> um, just because it doesn't fit into my aesthetic, even though this one doesn't, um, it's more subtle. It's kind of in my dinnerware, in a, in a cabinet. So let's do the cheaty sheets, see if there's anything else that we missed. This is the first thing that I saw when I opened the box is the front. So that's the same design that's on the t-shirt. Um, what else we got? As always, I do link all artists, like their, their actual shop or website that they have. Um, so Forensics and Flowers is the artist and illustrator that does the journal. I will link them down below. So if you like their work, they do make other journals. Um, and then what'd you say? The tin? The first of our 2024 magical, where's the sucker? Uh, magical tin sign series. Hang on a wall or prop up on a countertop. So yeah, we are definitely confirmed getting more of those. Um, and then the add-ons that were possible, we did not get them, are the chocolate, chocolatier, chocolatier? <laughs> staff badge. Um, pair this with your staff tea and the candy shop candle. Why didn't we get that? Um, so, and if you did get the candle or if you didn't, it's by Flick the Wick, who I am familiar with. I've not purchased anything, but I'm pretty sure about, I'm pretty sure they have a website, so I will link them down below. So let's go over what our favorites are of this box here. I, okay, I always say let's go over our favorites and then my first reaction is like, well, this is my least favorite. 
I do it with every box. I will say this is definitely one that is like not one that's going to fit into my house. I like the idea. We're not, this isn't even favorites. This is just a recap. Well, that's what we'll call it. Um, and yeah, it's really cute. It's just not up my diagon alley. I will definitely be using this plate. So that's up there. I don't know what I'd use the journal for, but I want a reason to use it because it's really pretty. I just think the end pages were not supposed to be in that way. So yeah, might contact them and see about what's happening. Oh, I love me a lizard. We're gonna make this, you guys. Um, actually, I'll just ask you and then you decide for me. I still think this is so, I, I honestly, I think this is a really good box. You would agree, it's really, really fun. And this is coming from somebody that just does not do a lot of color and also doesn't really, because I don't really do a lot of color, I'm go for a darker, dark academia. I know it's super popular. Um, vibe kind of a witchy vibe in my house so you won't see a lot of like weasley wizard um or honey dukes uh that sort of thing but like even the shirt oh the shirt it's not the color i would normally wear but it is a more muted color and it's just giving me the gilmore girl vibes it has a diner look yeah i just still don't like i still prefer the stuff on the front it doesn't regardless of what subscription box um because both that we get do that um it is buttery soft. It is a really cute design. So I do still think it's a win. I still think this is really cute. I get to imagine my coworkers when I'm here just like messing around with some beans. And yeah, so is that everything? The quill is okay. It's pretty basic. Um, I like that there's a vegan option for food. I don't know what I would put in here. It's kind of the size of like, um, I guess you could put toothpicks in there, but I feel like you would want to put a candy in there. You know, if I'm going to go candy, I'm going to go big or go home. So the mini Skittles, that would be cute. Where are those at? Oh, gosh. Okay. That was a really fun box. I think that was a really fun box. Um, let us know in those comments down below, A, if you want me to make some salamander slash lizard gingerbread cookies in this upcoming magical vlog. I really got to commit to that now. I've just put it out there in the world. <laughs> Um, and yeah, B, let me know what you thought of this box. What was your favorite? Did you get to see what you would have wanted to see or use in the kitchen? It is a lot of usable items as per, um, Magic Delivered. And let me know what other jobs would you like to see in the next three boxes that we're going to get? I'd love to chat with you in those comments down below. But until next time, my magical friends, remember to love what you love with everything you have and keep making magic. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.